More accurate and timely data is essential for good, sustainable fisheries management. We're in the middle of a digital revolution. We're trying to use the latest new and emerging technologies to solve the world's fishery challenges. SmartPass technology it really has potential to shine a light on small boat fisheries globally. The first time I went down the Gulf and fished for red snapper, boy, I tell you what, it wasn't just the fish that got hooked, I got hooked. Why isn't it important? I mean, it's a resource that I enjoy harvesting. It's a resource I enjoy going to the restaurant and having. It's a resource that plays an important part in the, in the ecosystem of the Gulf. Recreational fisheries in some parts of the country account for more than the commercial catch. That's especially true in the Gulf of Mexico with the red snapper fishery, but we don't really have a good handle on how many boats are participating. What we're doing is we're putting a camera at a natural pass or a pinch point where vessels have to funnel through to get to the ocean, recording that effort and using artificial intelligence to figure out how many vessels and of what type go through that pass. We have implemented two systems in the United States. It does take time to build the algorithms, to gain confidence in them, and then to get a level of reliability out of them. But when you get there, these efficiencies could really be a game changer. The more accurate we can be, it benefits everyone. We're getting a count of the number of boats going out, getting an average catch per boat when we interview them dockside, and then taking those two elements and being able to expand it to the total catch as well as the total number of anglers that went fishing. Everybody thinks the ocean's so vast. If the science tells us we can harvest X number of this fish and still build the fishery back up, that's what we should be looking at. Getting more regions to adopt this technology it can really push the needle on fisheries monitoring and recreational fisheries, but also small-scale fisheries. Blue seaming crab fisheries in Lampung is very important. The value is really high. It's number three, the biggest export from Indonesia. And the urgent thing that needs to be solved is the sustainability of the blue swimming crab itself. Everyone can catch blue swimming crab. If you have money, you can buy a boat. If you have net, you can go fishing and then catch blue swimming crab. At the moment, there are no exact number on the fishers in Lampung. All over the world, small-scale fisheries account for approximately half of all fisheries catch, and we just don't know how much is being caught. We need to know about how much is the effort. Imagine like four to ten hours a day to sit in front of the port counting the vessel. If you have the camera, you just record the footage and then assign AI to identify the vessels. We compare that data with the data we're collecting with monitors in the fishery to estimate the amount of catch. Dengan pengambilan data yang baik juga kita bisa tahu stok rajungan itu masih ada atau tidak untuk mencegah rajungan itu guna atau nelayan menjadi tahun-tahun kedepannya tidak bisa menangkap rajungan lagi. We've come to realize that fisheries are not inexhaustible. We need to understand what's happening under the ocean. With data, with that knowledge, we will find ways to ensure the sustainability of the ocean ecosystem in the future.